I have to say, my uh, when I first started this, I thought, oh, I've got all these sketches. I make sketches all the time. This is going to be so easy. I'm just going to scan these and add a bright background and put it up. And over time, I feel that some of my drawings ask for more contextualization than others. Um, and some of them, I just get an image of a kind of almost a graphic-like or poster-like uh, set of... Uh, images that I want to add or layout that that I feel will really kind of give me some communicate something. I did one um, that is not uh, part of the CIIS exhibit but um, uh, for uh, I think it was the one year anniversary or the six month anniversary of uh, um, the uh, was we are the 99 percent why can't I remember the name of that movement? Occupy. Occupy, yes, the anniversary of Occupy Oakland and that demanded context and a visual um, and and text in the background and I took a photograph of the crowd and I manipulated it and put it as the backdrop but some of them there's so much drama and meaning in the actual body or the face that I don't want to upstage it with anything else and so it's really about a kind of both thematic and aesthetic choices um, that I use to, to make those decisions and it varies from time to time. I mean, I still do the ones that just I scan them in and uh, just do a background. I rarely will just leave the figure in white. I usually will give a foreground color. So the, pic the figure himself is um, in a color. But then a lot of them still I just have a plain background. But sometimes in to kind of push them up towards the front um, or to make you look more at the head or the, uh, or the body or something, I will do something in the background. When I first started doing art, I uh, and trying to take it more seriously, I floundered around for a few years, and then um, I came up with a series called Colored Slash Men. And I, I, I love playing with old names and ideas about black people and then changing new meaning. Um, and so Colored Men, of course, is a you know the kind of obsolete terminology for black men um, but then I thought you know as people of color as people who are so richly diverse in color I'm gonna do colored men quote unquote and I'm gonna use instead of our array of browns blue and green and all of these other things to kind of symbolize how rich the color palette is and so I, I, I haven't dropped that sensibility at all and so I like using as many colors as possible um, and so uh, the part, the process, and this is why I'm not going to do a thousand and one in a thousand and one days. It's going to take me about twelve hundred days to finish this project, um, and and more than almost half of those are going to be in the next eight months, um, is because each character demands something really different from me in terms of the background and the foreground and in terms of the color, and so I often will have to cycle through several different colors before I find the right color for this particular figure and so sometimes when I do old men and I know that their hair is either going to be very pale gray or it's going to be white um, I often will use very dark uh, or very powerful colors like purple um, or really deep green um, to really make the white hair pop um, and then um, I often if I'm drawing LGBT characters or queer characters I always remind myself I can't you know, I, I'm very careful about the use of pink um, because I don't necessarily want every LGBT art um, or figure that I include to, you know, be attached to pink or purple or or, or something like that. Um, but it's really this, it's, it's why it takes so long. Each character requires a different set of colors. Um, and I do, a, I try a lot of things before I come up with the final drawing. And so I've gone from just one a day. It's just going to take me 15 minutes to. I think the longest one took me six hours. And um, wow, things things have changed a lot. It's not what, you know, but that's another thing that's great about a thousand and one. Right. I've learned so much over time. It's like actually to, re even if it's just simple graphic, what looks like a really simple graphic style takes a lot of time to really create what comes out in the end.